Hi everyone, I'm Irma and you've opened part 3 of our video series on typography. So in this video I'll teach you how to change fonts in WordPress. The final action. In this video I'll cover four ways you can change fonts in WordPress. The first is using a theme. The second, using a font plugin. The third, using a site builder. And the fourth, using custom CSS. The first thing to check if you want to change fonts in WordPress is if your theme has that option. And you can do that by going to your WordPress admin panel, then to appearance, and then customize. Let me open a specific page so you can see all the changes. So this is the area where you can see all the things your theme allows you to adjust. So the theme I have active now is the Visual Composer Starter Theme. And as you can see here, it has a section with fonts and style. And apparently it allows changing fonts for every header. So if I choose header 2 for example, as you can see we can change the color, we can change the font family, and the size and all sorts of parameters. If we open the theme customizer for the 2019 theme, for example, as you can see, there is no option to change fonts here. And if you're using any font that doesn't have this option, let's move on to the second way to change fonts. Plugins are a great way to add features that your theme doesn't necessarily allow. So of course, font plugins are no different. To add a plugin, as you probably already know, go to plugins and add new. And here you can just search for fonts and just browse through the options. The first one that pops up is Google Fonts and I can understand why it's a great option. Maybe you didn't know, but Google Fonts offers more than 800 fonts. That's a lot, so check it out. The easiest way to change fonts is probably with a website builder and most builders usually have that option by default and there's a big chance you're using one already. And I'll have to demonstrate on Visual Composer. So if you open the font editor, if you want to add text, you'll probably use the text block element. So, so let's open the edit window. What you see here is the advanced Tiny MC editor. Apart from the options that WordPress offers by default, you can change the font family, font size, letter spacing, and a lot more things. If you didn't like any of the options I talked about before, there's another one. You can use custom CSS. If you're using a theme like the 2019 theme, for example, you will find the option to add custom CSS here in the theme customizer. So again, appearance and customize. And here's the additional CSS tab. Here you can change as much as you like or as much as your CSS knowledge allows you. If I want to change the style of my headings, so I can change the font style, the font family, for example, and maybe font color. Let me paste one here. Right, and as you can see, that changed the style here. Of course, we can do the same with paragraphs. Let me paste some example here with other headings as well. Let's say we want the paragraph to be smaller, 14 pixels, for example. It's all up to you from this point on. You're not limited by the theme you have, the plugins and the builders you use anymore. So I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to check out the rest of our series on typography if you haven't done that yet. So thank you all for watching and enjoy.